welcome to Annapolis City Digest. I'm your host, Rhonda Wardlaw. Well, there was no public input during a public hearing on automated speed enforcement cameras in school zones. Despite the low turnout, Police Chief Michael Priestoop briefed the City Council members on the value of these devices, which help prevent vehicles from speeding through the school zones. Now, the ordinance would authorize the city to place automated speed cameras in designated zones, but locations have not yet been determined. The issue of speed cameras was discussed by the Public Safety Committee and Public Safety Chair Sheila Finlayson said at Monday's council meeting that this ordinance is about protecting our youth and keeping them safe as they travel to and from school on a daily basis. The matter has been sent back to the Public Safety Committee for further discussion. Well, special event parking prices will go into effect for the United States Yacht Show at both the Hillman and Gotts Court garages. The show dates for the sailboat show is October 6th through the 10th, and the powerboat show is October 13th through the 16th. Now, during these dates, from 7 in the morning until 7 in the evening, parking at Hillman Garage will cost you $20 per day, and at Gotts Garage, $15 per day. Still, city residents can continue to use their garage for two hours free as long as they have their resident parking decal on their vehicle. Also, existing monthly permit holders will not be affected by the special parking rates. For more information, you can call the Department of Transportation at 410-263-7964. Well, the city of Annapolis and Anne Arundel County are among seven leading communities from across the United States that will take part in a pilot program, making Annapolis more prepared and resilient in the face of disaster. Both the city and the county have been selected to be part of the National Community Resilience Projects pilot program and have been offered technical assistance from the Community and Regional Resilience Institute. Now, the city and county will also receive support from Ready Chesapeake, a group of local business and community leaders whose mission is to support the community and help them recover as quickly as possible from a natural or man-made disaster. The goal of the Resilience Project is to create a model for the state that does not rely solely on the public sector to prepare for all emergencies but involves the private sector. The project empowers businesses to protect their investments as well as their communities. And speaking of being prepared, Annapolis Mayor Josh Cohen is asking residents to sign up for a new notification system. The system called Code Red offers individuals an automated telephone message or text message service providing brief information on emergency situations as well as important instructions. Now the high-speed telephone calling system is capable of making several thousand calls per minute. To ensure that your phone number is registered and provide perhaps an additional number, all you need to do is go to the address on your screen. Well, now that the midshipmen have returned to the United States Naval Academy for class, club sports has also resumed play, and City TV is airing some of those games along with numerous interviews with the coaches. The coaches' corner interviews include hockey, women's softball, pistol, boxing, volleyball, karate, and cycling. Now these interviews along with updates on the team scores can be seen at our website and interviews can also be seen on City TV. If you're watching on Verizon, it's channel 34 and Comcast viewers can see it on channel 99 and 100. The days are Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. and you can also catch those interviews on Saturday at 1 p.m. And more interviews with the club sport coaches are expected to follow. Well, three new businesses opened in Annapolis recently, including a veterans facility, a convenience store and gas station, and a barber shop. The Annapolis Vet Center, located at 100 Annapolis Street in Suite 102, opened its doors on September 23rd and will provide counseling and referral services to facilitate successful readjustment to civilian life. A wide range of services are offered to combat veterans, including individual counseling, group counseling, marital and family, as well as bereavement counseling. Now, medical referrals, assistance in applying for VA benefits, and employment counseling, including outreach and community education, will also be offered at the Vet Center. Normal working hours are from 8 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday, and you can call 410-605-7826 for more information. 
while the 7-Eleven convenience store and gas station located at 111 West Street celebrated its grand opening with a ribbon cutting on Thursday, September 22nd. Joining the mayor and AEDC president was Ward 1 Alderman Richard Israel and Ward 6 Alderman Kenneth Kirby. Now, 7-Eleven is known as the pioneer of the convenience store concept, and this is why. Back in 1927, in addition to selling blocks of ice to refrigerate the food, an enterprising ice dock employee began offering milk, bread, and some eggs on Sundays and evenings when grocery stores were closed. Well, you guessed it, this new business idea produced satisfied, uh, satisfied guests as well as increasing sales, and boom, the convenience store was born. Well, the 7-Eleven is open from 5 in the morning until 11 in the evening, and they are currently employing 15 individuals. And if you step into Capistrano Barber Shop located at 54 Maryland Avenue in Annapolis, you might just feel as though you step back in time. Remember the old time barber shops that your dad used to take you to when you were a kid? Well, Mr. Capistrano wants to recreate that experience on each visit to his shop. The red and white pole outside, the big leather chairs, and even, are you ready for this? A phone book to sit on are all available to the clients of all ages. Capistrano Barbershop is located in the heart of downtown Annapolis on Maryland Avenue near the intersection of Prince George Street. It's an absolutely picturesque setting for delivering old-fashioned barber service to the Annapolis community. To learn more, you can go to capistranobarbershop.com. And finally, today the City of Annapolis is offering a new way to get updated information on the go with its Digital Digest. The bi-weekly electronic distribution called All About Annapolis will provide information on departmental services or changes in service, as well as public meetings, budget matters, water and sewer, solid waste, parking, and transportation, just to name a few of the various topics that will be covered in each issue. The first issue reached subscribers on September 30th, and if you'd like to subscribe and be a part of it, just go to annapolis.gov slash alerts. Go ahead and check the box that says All About Annapolis New. And that wraps it up for this edition of Annapolis City Digest. I hope you have a great week, and don't forget to check in with us daily at annapolis.gov.